This chapter consists of the basic positions of ballet, including the positions of the feet, the arms and the body, as well as poses such as attitudes and arabesques. Also found here are definitions of the vocabulary relating to the direction of movement of the legs and directions of travel through space. All subsequent chapters incorporate the positions and directions defined here. This chapter concludes with a demonstration of the seven basic movements fundamental to ballet. Positions of the feet. Ballet is based on five positions of the feet with the legs turned out from the hip socket. First position or premiere. The feet are turned outwards to form as straight a line as possible with the heels touching. Second position or deuxième. The feet are turned out with the heels separated by one or one and a half times the length of the dancer's foot. Third position or troisième. With the feet turned out, the heel of the front foot is placed in the hollow of the instep of the back foot. Fourth position open or quatrième ouverte. One foot is placed in front of the other with the heels opposite first position the length of the dancer's foot apart. Fourth position crossed or quatrième croisé. One foot is placed in front of the other with the heels opposite fifth position, the length of the dancer's foot apart. Fifth position or sankyem. One foot is placed in front of and touching the other. Here the heel of the front foot is crossed to the big toe joint of the back foot. Fifth position may also be done with the feet further crossed. So that the heel of one foot and the toe of the other are on the same line. Positions of the supporting foot. There are five positions of the supporting foot, pied à terre or pied à plat, with the whole foot resting flat on the ground. Pied à quart or quarter point with the heel just off the floor. Pied à demi or sur la demi-pointe with the heel raised just enough to transfer the weight onto the ball of the foot. Pied à trois quarts, or three-quarter point, with the heel lifted as high as possible and the toes flat on the floor. Pied à pointe, or sur les pointes, on full point, with the weight supported on the ends of the toes and the instep fully stretched. Often the distinction between quarter half and three quarter point and pied à trois quarts is called demi point to distinguish it from full point. Height of the working leg. The working leg may execute a position or movement à terre or par terre touching the ground. En l'air demi-position or à la demi-hauteur at 45 degrees. En l'air or à la hauteur at hip height or 90 degrees. These terms are also used when the working leg is taken over 90 degrees. Directions of movement of the legs. The working leg may move in three directions relative to the body, devant. 
to the front. A la seconde. In second to the side. And derriere. To the back. An exercise is termed en croix when it is executed consecutively front, side, back, and side. Here, relevé long is being performed en croix. The working leg may also trace a semicircular movement en dehors, outwards away from the supporting leg, and en dedans, inwards towards the supporting leg. These terms describe the relationship of the legs when they are both working. Devant, the front leg opens to the side and finishes front. Derriere, the back leg opens to the side and finishes back. Dessus, the back leg opens to the side and finishes over or in front. Dessous, the front leg opens to the side and finishes under or behind. En avant, the front leg opens to the front, finishing front. En arrière, the back leg opens to the back, finishing back. Directions of travel. A stepper combination may be done sur place, on the spot, without traveling. En avant or en descendant, traveling forward. En arrière or en remontant, traveling backward. De côté, sideways to the dancer's left or right. And en diagonale, on a diagonal across the space. En manège refers to a step or combination which travels in a circle. Coup de pied. In sur le coup de pied, the working foot is placed on the ankle of the supporting leg. In the Russian method, coup de pied devant has the foot wrapped around the supporting ankle with the heel forward and the toes placed behind. In coup de pied derriere, the position of the working foot is maintained, but the heel is placed behind the supporting ankle. Coup de pied may also be done with the whole foot pointed devant or pointed coup de pied derriere. In Chiquetti, the heel of the working foot is placed just above the ankle bone with the toes resting on the floor in coup de pied devant. In coup de pied derriere, this position is transferred to the back of the supporting ankle. Chiquetti also uses a coup de pied position with the working foot flexed parallel to the floor devant. The same applies to coup de pied derriere.
Retirer, raccourci. In retirer or raccourci, the toe of the working foot may be placed devant, to the front of the supporting knee, or derriere, to the back of the supporting knee. In the Russian method, a turn in retiré is called en tire bouchon. Passé indicates that one foot passes the other so that the position of the legs changes. Retiré passé en arrière, the front foot is drawn up the front of the leg to the side of the knee and lowered behind. Retiré passé en avant, the back leg likewise passes from back to front. Positions of the head. There are five basic positions, erect, raised, lowered, inclined or tilted, and turned. All other positions of the head are a combination of these. Epaulement. In epaulement, the upper body is turned from the waist with the head turned over the front shoulder. In fifth, if the same shoulder as leg front is brought forward, it is called croisé. In effacé, the opposite shoulder as leg front is brought forward. Here the upper body is turned away from the working leg with the head turned over the front shoulder. Positions of the arms. Chiquetti. In first position, the arms are slightly curved by the side of the body, fingertips lightly touching the side of the thighs. In second position, the arms are supported to the side just below shoulder height, slightly rounded in front of the body, palms facing front. In third, one arm is down in front of the body, the small finger just in front of the thigh. The other arm is curved to the side halfway between first and second, palm down. Fourth and avant, one arm is rounded in front of the body opposite the diaphragm with the other arm in second position. Fourth on O, one arm is rounded above and slightly in front of the head so the fingertips may be seen in the dancer's peripheral vision. The other arm is in second position. Fifth on O, both arms are rounded above and slightly in front of the head, so the fingertips can be seen in the dancer's peripheral vision, fingertips held two to four inches apart. Fifth on avant, both arms are rounded in front of the body opposite the diaphragm, palms facing in. Fifth on ba, the arms are down in front of the body, with the small fingers just in front of the thighs, palms facing in. In demi-seconde, the arms are held halfway between first and second with the palms facing down. In offering position, from fifth on avant, the arms open slightly from the elbow and the wrists are turned up. This position is often used as a finish for pirouettes. Pas de chat. From fourth position, the front arm is brought in to the body so that the forearm is parallel to the chest. The elbow and fingertips are slightly lower than the wrist, with the other arm extended slightly behind the body with the palm down.
French. Bras au repos. The arms are slightly curved by the side of the body, fingertips lightly touching the side of the thighs. Position de départ. Position préparatoire. The arms are slightly rounded in front of the body, the small fingers just in front of the thighs. In first position, both arms are rounded in front of the body opposite the diaphragm. Second position, the arms are open to the side just below shoulder level, palms facing down. Third position, or bras en attitude, one arm is rounded above the head with the other to the side. Fourth position, one arm is rounded above the head with the other in front of the body, opposite the diaphragm. Fifth position, or bras en couronne, both arms are held rounded above and slightly in front of the head, fingertips slightly apart. Russian. Preparatory position. The arms are curved down in front of the body with the hands slightly in front of the thighs. First position. Both arms are rounded in front of the body opposite the diaphragm, hands slightly apart. In second position, the arms are opened to the side at shoulder level, rounded slightly in front of the body, palms facing front. Third position, both arms are rounded above and slightly in front of the head, hands slightly apart. All other positions are formed from these basic positions of the arms. Port de bras. Port de bras means carriage of the arms. It may be performed as a separate exercise upon coming into the center after the bar to develop coordination of the arms and head. It also refers to use of the arms in coordination with the legs. Port de bras may include a bending of the body forward. A port de bras to the back is also called cambrai. A port de bras done to the side. Here we see a circular port de bras being performed. Positions of the body. There are three basic body directions. En face or de face, facing front or directly toward the audience. Croisé, or one eighth of a turn away from the audience with the downstage leg front, so that the line of the back leg is crossed by the front leg when viewed from the audience. Ouvert, or effacé. One eighth of a turn is made away from the audience with the upstage leg placed in front. Chiquetti. Croisé devant. Facing croisé, the front leg is extended devant. The same arm as supporting leg is in a slightly open fifth on O with the other arm demi second, palm facing front. The head is turned and inclined toward the front. A la quatrième devant. Facing front, one leg is extended devant with the arms in second position and the head erect.
Ecarté. Facing the corner, the downstage leg is extended in second. The same arm as extended leg is in a slightly open fifth on O, with the other arm demi seconde, palm facing front. The head is turned and raised, looking into the palm of the upper hand. Effacé. Facing effacé, the front leg is extended devant. The same arm as supporting leg is in a slightly open fifth on O, with the other arm, demi seconde, palm front. The upper body leans slightly back, the head turned and inclined toward the audience. A la seconde. Facing front, one leg is extended to the side with the arms in second position and the head erect. Epaulé. Facing effacé, the back leg is extended derriere. The arms are in arabesque with the same arm front as leg back. The head is turned and inclined over the front arm. A la quatrième derrière. Facing front, one leg is extended derrière with the arms in second position and the head erect. Croisé derrière. Facing croisé, the back leg is extended derrière. The same arm as supporting leg is at fifth on O with the other arm demi seconde palm facing front. The head inclines away from and looks under the upper arm toward the audience. Russian and French. Quasi devant. Facing quasi, the front leg is extended devant. The same arm as supporting leg is raised above the head with the other arm in second position. The head is turned toward the front with the body bent slightly back. Quatrième devant. Facing front, one leg is extended devant with the arms in second position and the head erect. Écarté devant, or seconde croisée. Facing the corner, the downstage leg is extended in second. The same arm as extended leg is just above the head with the other arm in second position. The body inclines away from the working leg with the head turned toward the raised arm. To perform écarté derrière or seconde ouverte, this position is turned so that the extended leg points toward the back corner. In this position, the head is turned toward the front arm with a slight bend of the body backwards. Effacé devant, or quatrième devant ouverte. Facing effacé, the front leg is extended devant. The same arm as supporting leg is raised above the head with the other arm in second position. The upper body bends slightly back with the head turned toward the raised arm. A la seconde. Facing front, one leg is extended to the side with the arm second and the head erect. Effacé derrière, or quatrième derrière. Facing effacé, the back leg is extended derrière. The same arm as extended leg is raised above the head with the other in second. The body tilts slightly forward. The head turned and looking under the raised arm. A la quatrième derrière. Facing front, one leg is extended derrière with the arm second and the head erect. Quasi derriere. Facing quasi, the back leg is extended derriere. The same arm as extended leg is raised above the head with the other arm in second. The body tilts slightly forward and the head is turned toward the audience. Attitude. In attitude, the body is supported on one leg with the other bent either to the back or front. Here it is seen a terre. Demi-attitude is performed at half height or 45 degrees. Most often it is seen en l'air at full height. 
Cicchetti. Quasi derriere. Facing quasi, the back leg is raised to attitude derriere. The same arm as raised leg is curved in front of the body, palm up, just above eye level, with the eyes directed into the palm of the hand. The other arm is an arabesque, extended behind the body. Quasi devant. Facing quasi, the front leg is raised to attitude devant. The same arm as supporting leg is in fifth on O, with the other arm in second position. The head turns and inclines toward the front. 